I'm glad we moved spots. <laughs> oh, but instant, dude, it was sinking. This is a better fish, I think. This is fighting pretty good. Going on good morning from Boise, Idaho. I ended up sleeping in a suburban neighborhood last night, as you can tell. Um, today I'm meeting up with a, a buddy. And we're gonna go fishing, but first I gotta get rid of the stink, so I gotta go hop in a shower. So today we're doing something pretty exciting. We're going up into the mountains of Idaho and fishing for some trout. I'm all clean. Now let's meet up with eight. What is going on guys? I'm Ace from Ace Videos and welcome to the mountains of Idaho. I'm back, I'm back with Ace. If you guys don't know who Ace is, he does a lot of catch and cook videos. His channel will be linked in the description below. Welcome to another episode of MAV where we do everything outdoors. Today, we've taken Ace's truck and we've made it to a big reservoir in the Idaho mountains. So we're gonna be going for some rainbow trout today. Ace is telling me that there's actually bull trout in here too and I've never fished a lake with bull trout. If we do get bit, we're gonna be making a catch and cook video. Um, I have some plans of doing it over an open fire. That's uh, that's for later on in the video. Don't now, jinx it. Yeah, don't yeah. jinx it, exactly. We gotta, <laughs> yeah. we gotta catch some fish first. So I'm gonna get my rods tied up and uh, see you on the water. I'm gonna be using a fast working bait. So this is a jerk bait. This is actually a countdown lure. It's kind of in a rainbow trout pattern, a little more natural. Anytime I'm in clear water, I like to use more natural baits. Until I find where these trout are at, I'm gonna use something that's a little more fast action. Um, I don't really wanna be dragging like a tube or anything along on the bottom. I wanna be able to work water and work water fast and far and I can't really do it with fly rods so see if there's any trout on this point the nice thing about the countdown lure is that I'm going to be able to get into stuff that's a little bit deeper so I can kind of see a little bit of a drop off here um, and then it does shallow out pretty fast we're going to see if I can cast far enough to hit the drop off first and if I can't I might have to put the waders on and get out there a little ways but And for reasons like this, it's important to have a pair of waders in your arsenal. So these waders are actually made by a company called Sims. Um, Sims makes some of the best waders in the fishing industry, if not the best. Um, they also make really great rain gear. If you guys don't have a set of waders and you want to get some, um, I'll leave a link to the ones that I'm wearing in the description below. But yeah, I can't say enough good things about these. They breathe well in the summer and they also keep me warm in the cold waters in Idaho. So. Fish. Fish on. Yeah, I was just straight reeling it. Looks like a nice little rainbow. Oh, sweet. We're gonna keep him? Oh, yeah. Alright. Sweet. Yeah, dude. It's bigger than the one yesterday that I got. I might just uh, get this guy right now. Well, I just bonked him on the head so he doesn't suffer, but that's my first rainbow trout. That's gonna be the one I cooked today. I'd say he's about 16 inches or so. He's got a stubby tail. I don't know what the heck happened there, but we got some meat. So this is a stalker, he's a sin. The tail's down because it's uh, it's been living its whole life in a cement pond. So yeah, we just made the switch to the steeper bank and that was actually my second cast and I, I cast it along the bank. One stalker trout down. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. I have no idea what the heck's going on with my GoPro right now, but it just shut off 
and I caught a fish. So Ace is over there bleeding out. He got some of it on, on his GoPro. But uh, I was doing the same thing. I was just straight retrieving right on this brake line. So. There's a fish. Fish on. Fish on. That was sweet. I was giving it like some slow pumps back. That uh, oh that's a good one. That worked my bait closer to the surface would work. And it did. Nice. Same bait, different presentation. But same result. All right, so we already do have enough for dinner so I'm gonna let this guy go. Probably about the same size as the first one I kept. But uh, Oh wow. See you later, buddy. So I was noticing that there was some fish kind of surfacing over here. And before I was letting this lure kind of sink and counting it down and whatnot. But that time, like right as it hit the water, I started like giving it some slow taps and then reeling it in, making the bait kind of stay within the first foot or two of the water column. And that thing just absolutely inhaled it. I, there's some more fish over here, but I think I'm gonna tell Ace to get over here because it is a uh it's a little honey hole. It was funny, that last fish just felt like I was like tapping rocks on the bottom when I was reeling it. Cause it would, like, I'd, I'd feel like just like little jolts and then finally it got it. It must've missed it like three times. Yeah, I can even see them busting down there. Like they're all up in this little channel. Oh dude, there's fish right here, come on. <laughs> well, I'm glad we moved spots. <laughs> Oh, the instant, dude. It was sinking. It was sinking. This is a better fish, I think. This is fighting pretty good. Oh, yeah. He's rolling. Oh, wow, dude. This is a better fish. Oh, my gosh. It literally just hit the top of the water. He's rolling all up in my line. This is stressing me out. Maybe he's not a stalker or something. Small fish. Yeah. Oh, now he's coming in. <laughs> He gave up. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Last yeah. one to keep? Yeah, last one to keep. These are good size keeping ones. Like, yeah. 14, 15 inch. Well, they would be longer if their uh, tails, tails weren't had more to stubby. Them. All right, folks. Well, there's my fourth landed fish of the day. Um, I've had a couple more bites than that. But Ace actually just let me know that we're not only going to catch and cook some trout today, but we're actually going to be using some of these trout for bait tomorrow. Um, that'll be a future episode crossing my fingers that we can get bit tomorrow. We're gonna to be going after some big river dinosaurs, not to give away too much, but it's been an awesome day out here. Now it's time to uh, get back to the truck and cook up some of our fish, because we definitely have plenty now. Gotta hang the towel. Thank you so much. Countdown for getting it done today. All right, folks, well, after a little bit of love and tender care, the uh, the fire is now going. So we're gonna let it burn out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get it smoking hot, and then we're gonna get our fish on it. Before we get the fish on it, we have to get the fish prepped. So I have some lemon, and I have a jalapeno. Um, 
I also have a rainbow trout, so I'm gonna combine all three of these items and throw them on the fire, and we will have a we'll have some lunch. That sounds cool. <laughs> that sounds cool. Lemon jalapeno trout. Nice. All right. So first things first is I'm gonna get some pieces of lemon cut, and then I'm gonna get some jalapeno cut. With the jalapeno, I'm actually gonna go a little bit thicker just because I don't want, want them to burn and crispen up. All right, so I just gutted and scored the trout. So it needs to be a little deeper. But it's ready for the fire. Um, I scraped out all of that blood that's along the spine here. Now I'm just gonna get all my fixings on and in the fish. So first I'm gonna use kind of my butt of lime here. I'm just gonna squirt that all on the inside and the outside. Some salt and just salt the whole outside and inside of the fish. Put a couple lemon slices inside, a couple jalapenos inside. We're gonna get a couple Slices for the bottom of the fish. And then the last two for the top. Just gonna garnish it with the spicy peppers. And that's it, it's looking pretty good. I'd say it's looking delicious. It's looking nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's making me hungry. Dude, I'm gonna have to get one yeah. of these if I like cooking with it. I'm gonna have to get one. Uh -huh. Fire, it's almost perfect, maybe. Maybe it was burned down or uh, down a little bit. But... <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't get it too much more. I wouldn't add okay. more wood. In fact, I'm not. I'm just gonna gonna knock it down. Yeah, yeah. because uh, yeah, otherwise so it doesn't get charred. Yeah. Okay, sorry, you know what you're doing. A little bit, but not not a lot. You've got about a year and a half or more experience in <laughs> catching cooks than I do. I'll take I'll take any <laughs> any help I can get, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking me out here too. This is awesome. This is oh, fun. I don't get to do like a lot of like beach catching cooks. It feels good to be like able to get back outside and do stuff like this. All right, so we put this thing on the fire probably about five minutes ago. We're just gonna give it a little spin here. It's already looking pretty good. This guy's looking about done here. I'm gonna take him off. This thing smells so good. Oh, and I just opened that up the completely wrong way. Get a fork and like kinda. He's almost off, but yeah, a fork would help. Side up and you pick that side up. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Woo! That looks pretty awesome. That skin is so crispy. Smell the jalapeno. Dude, I think this is gonna be good. I think so. All right, I'm actually going to, if I remember correctly, my, um, uh, I roasted some peppers over a fire once, and when you roast them over fire, I think it takes, oh, takes a lot of the pepper flavor. So it's not as, so not it's as not hot. as hot. Yeah. So I'm gonna try. Just a smoked jalapeno. Just a smoked, a piece of trout. Mm -hmm. And a piece of jalapeno and a bite just like that. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? It is. And the jalapeno has lost a lot of its kick. I would try it if I was you. Yeah, here, I'll give it a go. Mm. So, if you guys look, this trout did cook down the same as the one that I just caught the other day um, in the Sierras. It's nice, white, flaky meat. Mm-hmm. I like it. Dude, that's good. It's like, you get kind of like a tanginess of the lemon. Mm-hmm. And like the jalapeno, like pickled jalapenos. Yeah, it's almost like pickled, yeah. yeah. Where it's like lost the... It's lost kind of like the... But you still have that good jalapeno it. flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd do this again. Mm-hmm. Now here's an interesting test. So I took a jalapeno out of the middle of the trap that actually hasn't been touched by the flame. I bet that's still pretty hot. I'll do the same with this one, but I'll get a big chunk of trout with it, because I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's uh, still hot. If it, the flame <laughs> has to hit it. Wow. Mmm. Crunchy. Yeah, here's, here's a note. When you do this, the flame has to hit it to take the spiciness away. Oh, that's really good, though. I just love how when you cook fish like this, it just like the, peels off the skin. Mm -hmm. And then, guys, the roasted flavor, and roast something over fire, don't be intimidated if it's a little bit blackened. It gives this just delicious mm -hmm. roast flavor. Uh, that's like one of the main reasons I like cooking over fire. Because you get that little charcoal y. Mm -hmm. There's a point where it can be too much, but I think we hit it, we hit it just right on the I think you, I think you cooked it to perfection. My favorite part. Just nice. Being able to <laughs> peel all the bones away. Meat oh, yeah. Don't but know. look, guys, this, the meat slides right off the bone. Got that whole big piece of meat. Thank you Sweet. again. For, uh, I would shake your hand right now. Oh, but. dude, my fishing <laughs> hands, too. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking me out You're here. Welcome. Awesome. You're welcome. It was fun. You've just been in Los Angeles, too, so yeah. you'd like to come out, and it's like calm and peaceful, not very many people. And it's nice on the brain. Uh -huh. So I appreciate it. And oh, you're welcome, Thanks dude. for letting welcome me use our equipment again. and stuff and taking me out in your truck. appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you're great. welcome. You're right. welcome, dude. Well, if you guys want to check out his channel, it's going to be linked in the description below. He's going to be having a catch and cook on this same on the same trip. He's going to be preparing his fish a little bit differently. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but fish and chips with trout, it's uh, it's pretty different. And then we have sturgeon. Oh, did I? Am I supposed to talk about the uh, next time? Sturgeon next episode. Yeah. So so subscribe if you're new because we're gonna go sturgeon fishing tomorrow. Hopefully get me a big old white sturge. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav and the continued support. It's been awesome to watch this channel grow to what it is right now. Um, really appreciate all the comments, all the views, and all the thumbs ups on the videos. If you guys like what you see, don't feel free to hit subscribe down below. But until next time, my name is Maverick. And you're able to drill. Just keep on trucking. Let's ask these people if they can.